Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Over the last 15 months, we have shown a great deal of evidence that science is incorrect in their statement that there were no native inhabitants of Antarctica. Remains of buildings, remains of ancient beasts, different things that we can show that there was some type of a culture down here, doesn't necessarily prove that whoever might have built those were native to the region. There is, however, one piece of evidence that you can show that in almost every single case around the globe historically shows native inhabitants. It has to do with how ancient man treated their dead. I have found something in Antarctica, and it's very, very close to a lot of other things, some very important things, that shows this. There have been pictures taken for many years of these ancient burial mounds. They're all over Ohio. They're all over Kentucky. They have all sorts of different shapes, but this particular shape I would like to show you, conical, it does resemble sometimes natural formations like calderas and volcanoes, but what I'm going to show you today and where it is and the things around it will prove definitively that we have found an ancient burial mound in Antarctica. And I personally believe with an epitaph and a marker. Just wanted to show a couple of these, just so everyone can. This is one from Mars, by the way. Now, this one you could probably debate, because there's 160 in the region on Mars, just like it. It's uh, It doesn't necessarily have the hallmarks of burial mounds, but this particular one is very curious. I wouldn't dismiss it out of hand. But let me show you what we found in Antarctica and why I think it is so important. It ties in with another location. And when you see it, 
it's all going to make perfect sense. Now the problem that I had, the reason I didn't see this, is because of the weird angle the picture was taken from the satellite. Do you guys remember me talking about this script up here and trying to figure out what it meant? Well, there was this weird V that was either a V or it was pointing at something. And when I went down the side of the mountain, and that's the key here, you're looking at the side of a mountain. Look what I found. This perfect conical shape burial mound. This is very clearly evidence that whoever built this was native to the region. Because travelers wouldn't have done this. Nobody passes through an area, loses a member, and then just creates something like this in a foreign land. I'm going to leave this up for a minute just so people can stop and look very closely and take screenshots if they want to. Because this, this will be the smoking gun. It's just an amazing thing. I had to stop and take a breath and think, how am I going to do this video? Because all of the other things I found around it are only going to seem, well, less important and irrelevant. But the biggest thing that I found around this is going to blow your mind. And I didn't even find it. It was brought to me by another channel. Now I'm going to zoom out here. Here's where the mound is. Here's where that script is, I think, that marks the grave. Over here, it looks like they had started some type of, for lack of a better term, serpent mound style creation. I'm not sure what this is, but there's no way these perfect curves like this, especially in this shape, can be natural. But that's not the big find. I'm going to zoom out even farther and show you what is right next to it. Who remembers this? This is the face that third phase of Moon brought it to me. I know that there was some other individual that was claiming credit for it. I'm not going to get into that discussion. The reason I have it labeled third phase face is because they are the ones who brought it to me. But this enormous structure, this enormous face, is right here, and the burial mound is right here. I think what we're looking at is some equivalent of the Valley of Kings from Egypt, but just in Antarctica. That this enormous face was homage to whomever might be buried there. And this is the marker. Now this area might have looked very, very different before whatever cataclysm hit. The, what brought me to this region or, originally was this. It looks very much like Frozen in the Ice, one of those giant plesiosaur-style animals because with a large screen and high def you can see the eye you can see the the head you can see the flipper you can see everything but i don't think that's nearly as important as what this represents here's the face up here here is some type of structure maybe it looks like it goes down into the mountain. Here off the edge of this cliff, we have some kind of a marker. What these words or letters or numbers mean, I don't know. But directly below them, and once again, it goes to the angle of the camera. That's why looking at Google Earth Pro versus the web version is so critical. Because you can change angle, you can change perspective. 
and this is exactly, you know what I think we'll go ahead and do? I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to go ahead and, and measure this. All right, top to bottom in meters. The one side looks to be about 25 meters high or about 83 feet. Across the base, and these are just estimates here. I can get this to let go. There we go. 91 feet or 27 meters. That's actually a little short there. Hold on. I'm sorry. About 30 meters for across the base. Just short of 100 feet. So a little wider than it is tall. This civilized people bury their dead. There have been peoples that have lived for millennia that never did such things. No evidence that they did such things. But creating something like this would have taken an immense amount of effort, especially given where it is. This isn't some type of volcanic... Um, creation or evidence of some type of volcano where this is into the sheer side of this cliff would be nearly impossible but once again behind it we look like it looks like there is evidence that something is going on underground behind wherever this was constructed and when we look over here i didn't really mark it but there's some type of rectangular wall structure. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that means. But I do know what this means. Inside this cone, more than likely, is an ancient leader of... I don't even know what to call the people, because clearly they wouldn't have called themselves Antarcticans. I don't think they would have called themselves... Um, Magellanicans, because that was something given by the Europeans. I've heard the term Lemurians, Agarthians. I'm just not sure. But we're going to keep looking because there is now clear, undeniable evidence of civilization that had writing, civilization that honored its dead, Civilization that built homes. Very advanced culture. We've shown evidence of ports. We've shown evidence of shipping. So I will let you guys look at this. I will, of course, give you all of these locations. Real quick, um, just in the region, found evidence of some type of near-perfect triangular structure down here, like we've seen so many times. Over here, I, I don't know how you look at this entry into the ice with this perfect uh, U, or I guess perhaps C shape, depending on how you would look at it, as anything other than a creation of some type of intelligence. And there are more nearby, as you can see. These are very clearly created. And if this were for uh, humans or humanoid type people, two-legged people, walking in and out, I'll do a quick measurement on this for you. That's about 60 feet tall. And at its widest, about 14 feet. So real quick, in meters... Four and a quarter meters wide and 16 and a half meters tall. So, just saying. Big folks. But I will leave it there. Um, 
There are other things in the region, but I will get to them in future videos. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Greg.